Hey guys. Yep, y'all were right. I can admit it. The penguin's really freaking good. I'm gonna be honest, the real reason I didn't have an enthusiasm to watch was because I was like not the biggest fan of Matt Reeves' The Batman. But honestly, my opinions are a bit complicated because I have frequently called it the best bad movie I have ever seen. The bad parts are the moments of suspension of disbelief where Batman will be flying at 45 miles an hour and then like crack his face so hard in a freeway overpass that his muffin cap gets peeled back blue. But then he'll just like walk it off like Randy Marsh. Like, I'm not trying to be a stickler, but yeah, I know it's a comic book movie too, but the entire point of Batman is that he's like, I don't know, a guy. He's he's just a, a human, right? He's not supposed to be able to like shrug off bone crushing hemorrhagic trauma like an anime character. He's not a Saiyan. Kind of defeats the point of watching this super serious, supposedly super realistic take on the Batman. But what made that movie actually also good was Matt Reeves' commentary on Batman himself. And by commentary, I mean that Matt Reeves took a freaking sledgehammer to Batman's knees and told him he's a stupid rich boy who needs to stop making bone soup out of poor people while in cosplay. Especially in these trying economic times, there was something sickly cathartic about seeing the ego of a vigilante billionaire be crushed when he learns that all of the poverty skulls he's broken hasn't changed a single thing about the corrupt system that he benefits from as part of the ultra-wealthy. It was actually really cool, and seeing that transformation in Bruce when he realized the Riddler had a point was a nice closing for the movie. So even though Penguin has a different director and a different creative team, the show manages to capture the same aesthetic and feel of the movie. I mean, would this even be a serious video if I didn't mention the insane performance by Colin Farrell? Oswald Cobblepot might as well be a whole new person, like just he doesn't exist because that's how good the makeup in Colin's acting is. He's just addicting to watch. His accent, the waddle, the silver tongue, the rashness and anger, he's got a real Tony Sopranos feel, and this is coming from someone who's seen all of the Sopranos best clip highlights on YouTube, so basically the whole series, right? But in all seriousness, this is the kind of fiction that I love seeing. I'm utterly entranced when large scale becomes intimate. I love taking the Batman IP and Gotham and zooming in as small as we can go. Sure, it's cool to see the Dark Knight battle against like alien hordes and psychomaniacal clowns, but there is something so gritty and compelling about framing Gotham through a mafia narrative. Watching Oz and Vic gave me major flashbacks to Jesse and Walt, and Sophia is kind of like a weird female fusion between Lalo and Tuco. By the way, I'm like only one and a half episodes in, and these scenes are like borderline perfect. You want to talk about a hook for a show? I'm not going to spoil anything. I mean, maybe I should because this is a video about the show, but the opening sequence of the first episode and the conflict it produces is one of the best I've seen in a long time. And truly, I have no idea where the story is going to go. <laughs> I haven't the faintest clue who's going to die, who's going to live, nada. And that's kind of my whole job, right? As a script and novel editor and as a YouTuber who literally makes a living off of talking about storytelling. And that's really cool that I don't know where things are going. So color me impressed. Anyway, very quick, short video on the Penguin. I'm gonna go back to keep watching it because it's really good. What are you guys thinking about it? Let me know in the comments. Bye.